Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to start Kafka. And for this, we're going to start Zookeeper first, and then we'll start Kafka. So I'm going to go ahead and first edit the configuration files. So in my Kafka directory, we have the bin, the configs, and in the configs, I'm going to go ahead and edit these files. Before that, I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder, and I'll name it data. And then within that folder, I'm going to create a new folder, one named zookeeper. And in there, I'm going to create a new folder as well, one named Kafka. And this basically will hold the Kafka and the zookeeper data. So let's just get this. We get the full path of this. We copy it and we go on. The next thing I have to do is in config, I have to um, basically edit uh, the zookeeper.property. So you find zookeeper.properties right here and uh, you need to open it. So open with, and for this, I'll just use um, notepad. So see if that works. Notepad doesn't work. So the best thing to use is to use maybe this um, notepad plus plus. So if you want to install it, I'll go install it right now. It's notepad plus plus. So it downloads and download any version you want. Then you run it. We'll run the installer and then click on yes. And then I'll let you just click on next on every single uh, thing. So next, I agree, next, next, next install. So this basically is a better notepad for Windows. Click on finish. And now we have Win notepad plus plus being open. So that's perfect. So if we go back to this file, right click and do edit in notepad plus plus. And now I have to replace this slash TMP slash zookeeper with my data directory. So if I go here to data zookeeper, I can copy this entire path and put it right here and paste it. So the trick though, is that you have to replace all these slashes by forward slashes. So you have to inverse every slash, otherwise things won't work. So you need to reverse every slash. So C and the slash is inverted. And then we're going to save this. And so this is enough. When you make sure you have all the slash inverted, then you can go into your terminal and you can type zookeeper, server start dot bat and then you reference the config file so config zookeeper dot properties press enter and if everything works great you get a binding to port 2181 that appears at the bottom that means that zookeeper is running and has started if you get an error just look at the error message and try to solve it on your own but basically the most common error i find is when 2181 is already busy as a port and so someone tried to start zookeeper over it so in this case just make sure that um, you stop whatever process is using to port 2181 now i need to start a second command line so cmd and i need to go to the same kafka directory and in this command line right here i'm going to open kafka so i can't open it kafka in this first one because zookeeper is already running and we need to keep it running so we're going to use kafka in the second command line so for this we go here back to the config directory and we're going to edit server.properties. So we edit server.properties and at the very bottom, we get a log dears equal. And so we need to edit this. So I'm going to copy this entire path right here. So I'm going to copy it, copy. And here I paste it. And at the end, it's data slash Kafka. So this looks good. And now I can save this file. And so now we have the data Kafka directory that should be used. So let's go ahead in this one and run the Kafka server start.bat command. And now I have to reference my config file that I just created. So config anti slash server.properties. So remember, you have Zookeeper running in this one and Kafka running in this one. So now I press enter and hopefully Kafka should start. So Kafka starts and at the very bottom, you should see Kafka server ID equals zero started. And this is when you know that Kafka has started. So it was a bit of a wild ride, but we have Zookeeper right here and we have Kafka in the second terminal window. And if we go to our data folder, we should see in the Zookeeper folder a version two folder. So this is good. And if you go to the data for Kafka, we should see a bunch of files that have been created by Kafka. So if this is like this, then Kafka has been set up correctly and we are ready to go ahead with the labs and start using the Kafka commands. So good job. Now you can go on to the next section and hopefully remember you need to use a new command prompt. You need to have Zookeeper running in one window and Kafka running in another window. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.